means a fresh start for students and teachers, but at Rosati Kane Academy, well, it's going to take on a whole new meeting this year. Yeah, this is the first year that the all-girls Catholic high school will operate independent of the Archdiocese since it was founded back in 1911. First alert for us, Caroline Hecker joins us live in the Central West End, where the first day of school will get underway in just a few hours. Caroline, how are they feeling? This is a, a big and new chapter for them. It is. We actually saw some girls here taking their picture in front of the sign ahead of school starting in just a couple of hours. And Rosati Kane really has that rich tradition and history here in the Central West End, here on Lindell. But all of that, like we talked about, was really called into question in jeopardy last fall. That's when the Archdiocese announced that it would close Rosati Kane at the end of this past school year. And it cited declining enrollment over the years as the reason for the closure. But that announcement prompted some of their most dedicated alumni to step up. They started kind of a grassroots effort and they were able to secure a sponsor independent of the archdiocese. And in doing so, they're now able to keep the doors open for students like sophomore Jemiah Barnes for future generations to come. I want to grow up. I want to go to college. I want to be able to come back and give back to St. Louis. I want to be able to not just be looked at as the girl that went to Rosati. You know, like she's a doctor, she's a nurse, she's this, she's that. So I want to set a, a legacy for myself, something that if I ever grow up and have children, my children can live up to. Now the school is taking on a new name as this new school year gets underway. It will be called Rosati Kane Academy. Last year it was home to about 173 women. That was down about 100 students compared to back to 2019. But staff tells me they're confident with all of this uncertainty behind them and the ability to develop a really new innovative curriculum that recruitment, they say, will be much easier. Not being limited somehow to some curriculum that was 20 years old and that was the way that we've always done it and that's how we're doing it. No, we're moving forward. We're going to make sure that our young women are prepared. Now in just a little bit, the incoming freshmen will show up here. They will be greeted and welcomed into the building by all of the returning women here at the school as well as the staff. The school telling me it really prides itself on the diversity of its student body. So it is a unique experience for women, not just in the city, but they say from entire Metro, 40 zip codes attracting young women here to this school to get this individualized educational experience here in the city. Of St. Louis. We're live in the Central West End. Caroline Hecker, First Alert 4. Yeah, big legacy there. Caroline, thank you. Food in